guys, it's Emma from Henry Shine Infection Control. Today I'm going to be taking you through the GKE Patient Sterilization Logbook. I'll also be showing you the piggyback label system and how to load and unload the GKE tracking gun. We need all of these vital parts to be able to track batch code identification numbers in our patient notes for our patients for critical procedures. So the video is going to show us how to do that. We need to marry up the batch code identification number with our sterilizing log sheet book and our sterilization printout from our autoclaves. So hopefully this video shows you how to do that in a nutshell and I hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how you actually load your GKE label gun. On the very top of the gun there's a big red button. If you push, push the button it will open the gun itself and effectively what we want to do is pop our labels just into this middle part here. Before we actually put the labels in what we want to do is remove around about nine labels from the actual stick, sticker reel. This will make it easier to feed it through the labeling gun so that we don't get any labels caught up on the internal of the machine. With the label facing outwards, we just want to push the labels into the gun until it clicks. So you can see here I've got a healthy reel of label left. There are some still images as well, so if I'm going a little bit quickly, you'll be able to see it on the still frames a bit better. But effectively from here, there are two red arrows and we want to feed the label in and through here. When doing this process it's easy to then press the trigger until it grabs the bottom label part and you can see that that's now starting to feed in and it's becoming taut. So I'm going to keep doing that and you can see now it's just fallen through the bottom. I'm now going to close the lid on the label gun lock it into place and from here we can then begin setting up the alphabetical and numerical codes that we actually require for our batch code identification process. Now that we have our label gun ready to go to be set up, we are going to use the little alphabetical and numerical table on the side. So we want to refer to a code on here to give us that different representation and this will make sense when you actually start to play with the different reels here for our information. So from a batch code identification perspective we want to be inputting here an initial, a cycle number, an autoclave ID if you have more than one and today's date. So I've preset mine already. If I squeeze the trigger and release a label you can see here that I've filled that out already and that's what's going to be transferred onto each of our pouches and then later on into our sterilization log sheet book. You will notice with GKE there are different colors of the barcode label gun, uh, labels. Each color can be distinguished by um, sterilizing cycles or sterilizers it's at your discretion but they do have three different colors for you to choose from. In the next part of this video I'm going to be showing you how to then correspond the printout sheet with the sterilization logbook. So I'm now going to take you through the GKE sterilization log sheet book. I have pre-filled out some information and we're going to use this as a, a preliminary example to show you. So if you just want to have a look at the sheet, I have got my yellow GKE device and I've pre-filled out the information. Effectively, when we have done our VAC test and Helix test, this test should actually be black when we know that it's passed. At the back of the, the strip, there is a sticky part where you can fix the helix test into the sterilization sheet. There is a part here for our test printout. So on your autoclave you can print out the, um, the VAC test and affix it there just by stapling it to that sheet of paper. 
There's just some really, really basic information as well. Today's date, sterilization number. So in terms of you've got one, two or three units, you can ID that there. Which practice or department it is. And then if we have a look at the other information, daily air removal test and vacuum test. And we wanna say whether that's passed or failed and who it was released by. I've chosen to fill out this middle section here just because it was easier to show. But here is our batch number, which is effectively this information here on our sticky label. So we've written that out. That's our BCI, which goes into the patient notes. We then say whether it's a pass or a fail. Again, because this hasn't actually been through a sterilization cycle, the, the steam strip here will go from blue to brown once it's passed. Within our load, I've used these examples to say that we had two hand pieces, three scalers, four exam packs, and one cassette. At the end of the sheet, you'll see it says GKE batch monitoring helix test. So you can actually put the yellow device in with every single load for monitoring. It's not a, necess a necessity, but you can, and GKE do recommend that. And again, you just wanna put who released that load there. And that's typically all you're required to fill out. As you have different batch numbers and cycles, you can fill these out here. Alternatively, if you have different sterilization units, you can have a book per unit or choose to fill out the information on each individual sheet or start a new sheet with the different sterilization unit.